Hey there, movie buffs. Welcome back to my channel, where today we're diving into the iconic film that left us all on the edge of our seats stash Kill Bill from 2003. Get ready for a whirlwind of mind-blowing facts that will make you appreciate this Tarantino masterpiece even more. And we all work for this man. Kill Bill was initially intended to be released as a single film. However, Tarantino decided to split it into two volumes, with a second part, Kill Bill, Volume 2, released in 2004. The film is a homage to 1970s kung fu genre movies, spaghetti westerns, and revenge films. Tarantino drew inspiration from various genres and directors, including Akira Kurosawa and Sergio Leone. Did you know that Uma Thurman, the ultimate badass herself, trained rigorously for months to master the demanding fight sequences in the film? Talk about dedication. It's no wonder her performance as the bride is absolutely unforgettable. Have to kill you, Levy Bat Square. And I choose. The film is known for its stylized action sequences. One of the most famous scenes is the fight in the House of Blue Leaves, which features an elaborate and choreographed battle between the bride and Oranishi's gang. Silly Caucasian girl likes. The film includes cameos from various actors and tributes to classic cinema. For example, Tarantino's frequent collaborator, Michael Madsen, appears in a cameo, and the film's Crazy 88 Gang references numerous martial arts film cliches. Now, let's talk about the incredible soundtrack of this film. Tarantino curated a killer lineup of songs that perfectly complement each scene, adding an extra layer of badassery to the already intense action sequences. It's impossible not to bob your head along to that unforgettable score. The film features a range of visual styles, including a black and white sequence, a nod to old school cinematic techniques. The stylized approach enhances the film's homage to different genres. But here's a juicy nugget for you, did you know that the iconic yellow tracksuit worn by the bride was actually inspired by the jumpsuit Bruce Lee wore in Game of Death? It's these attention to detail and nods to classic cinema that make Kill Bill a true work of art. For a second there. An extended cut of the film, known as the Kill Bill, The Whole Bloody Affair, combines both volumes into a single film with additional footage. This version was shown at some film festivals but has not been widely released. So there you have it, folks, a deep dive into the exhilarating world of Kill Bill and the fascinating facts that make it a cinematic masterpiece. Join me next time for more fun film trivia and remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and remember, revenge is a dish best served cold. No kidding, I heard it was kinda hard. <laughs>